Cause you're a work of art Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and I upload every single Tuesday and Sunday. This video was supposed to go up on Sunday but I had a huge computer issue and wasn't able to put it up. So now we are here on Tuesday but I hope that you all still love this. I had been having a week, um, you know, I was struggling with my kids being sick at different times because that's how it goes when you have more than one kid. They all kind of just pass it around to each other. Um, but I was struggling this week. I was exhausted. I was worn out and I just needed to start somewhere. I was very overwhelmed, had a lot to do in every aspect of my life and I just felt like I didn't even know where to start. I was so overwhelmed that I honestly just wanted to nap. So that's why I'm doing this brain dump. It is so helpful for me. You can see that I have little um, titles here. I have family, chores, work, um, meal ideas, things that I need to shop for, and like a miscellaneous spot. And I kind of just take everything that's in my brain and put it out on paper and prioritize what I need to do. So you'll see me highlighting here in a bit, prioritizing my top three. Um, and just starting there because I it was almost like I wish that somebody was there being like okay Tiffany you need to do these three things because I just had so much to do I didn't know where to start and I honestly just wanted to take a nap so this is what I do when I'm feeling like that and I hope that this can help you too everybody has paper everybody has a pen just got to start somewhere and that's what I'm doing right now I feel different like I'm brand new let's ignore it Still it feels just like I'm waiting for something better Wait a second I wanna stay up late with my heart in your hand Maybe stare too much cause you don't understand You got me gone You don't understand You got me gone But sometimes I might be a bit all right so now that all of that is out of my head and onto paper i'm a little less overwhelmed but i know that you guys feel this way too when you make a brain dump it makes you feel like wow this is a lot and you don't know where to start so this may seem redundant but i'm just writing down things in order in which i want to do them and how i think they'll help me and this makes it seem a little less like crazy i guess so we do utilize our alexa like a lot sorry if i just set yours off um but we always add groceries there so i always print out my alexa list from my amazon app i was going to order groceries but it was just like way too long of a wait and they were saying they didn't have half the stuff so i just ran to the grocery store by myself and grabbed a few things i'm not gonna like sit here and explain everything because i know that you can see um, what we purchased but it's just some of our staples i went to giant i like to go there because i know the aisles by heart and it's just way faster for me when i go there i also love to order groceries from other places um, but when i'm actually going in store i like giant just because i've gone there basically since we've moved to this area and I just know the aisles really well so yeah that's what I do I was stocking up on a couple of pantry items and some staples and a couple of things for meals that we are making this week like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end but now you say you gotta go baby why you see we have some extra decadent goodies because it's that time of year where we do lots of extra baking um so that's why i have all of this stuff lots of yummy recipes coming your way so stay tuned for that
we eat a lot of produce in this house and I cook with onions a lot um, so we always are pretty stocked on fruits and veggies I will say um, I almost died when I saw that one thing of strawberries was nine dollars but um, you know we got to give our kids uh, fruit that they need but oh my gosh I just couldn't even believe that on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to so my kids are no longer gluten free after being re-allergy tested as a lot of you know but I still get comments here and there about being gluten free so my husband and I are still gluten free the kids are not um, so that's what that bread is for. I always keep popsicles on hand for when the kids are sick and they need hydration. I try to get the lowest sugar ones and lollipops for one for bribery <laughs> and two because they're also good if your kids have a sore throat or a cough or anything like that. So. We try to keep those in stock and then I also love those seltzer waters. But anyway, it's a little bit later on and we are finally making Tanner's favorite muffins. We make these muffins all the time. I'll actually just type it out um, in the description box for you to copy and paste it. But first the boys said they didn't want to help, which honestly makes me sad because they've always loved baking. They don't really care much about cooking, but they've always loved baking with me. Um, but they just have more important things to do these days. Um, so Ella and I started the muffins, but you'll see later on the boys hop in and it honestly just made my life, even though, um, they all fight over certain things. I had to cut that out. Um, but still a core memory and makes me so happy. Ella, I don't ever have to ask her. She just sees me in the kitchen. She's like, mommy, can I help? Can I help? She absolutely loves being in the kitchen and I love that too. And when Evie sees Ella pull a chair up, she'll immediately go grab a chair and pull it up too. Um, but she was in the bath at this point. Leave us for the best or you would break. That is why you left without a text. So this is our tried and true little beast and family muffin recipe. Uh, we've been making these forever and we have to eat lots of chocolate chips along the way. But basically you mix your wet ingredients, you mix your dry ingredients, combine the two and add chocolate chips. It's incredibly easy and it's a great way to use some of those bananas that may be going bad. And it's Tanner's favorite and they are mostly healthy. <laughs> So I'm trying to give them a lesson here on how to scoop the muffin mix into each little spot here. It was definitely challenging for them, um, but it was still fun. It used to be really hard for me to sit back and like let them try things. I would always be like overly helping, I guess, um, but I've gotten much better at it. These were little dollar store um, little cupcake liners, so they weren't the best. They were very like flimsy, so probably not the best. For them to start with but we still had a lot of fun making them they weren't super pretty but they were super delicious so everly is out of the bath and she's just having a blast with these little cupcake toppers that came with the muffin liner so she didn't even care that she missed out on the baking process with us so you just pop these in the oven on 350 degrees i always say start checking them around 18 minutes because every oven is different and that's usually when hours are done so it's the next day now we're on to more baking so muffins are Tanner's big thing as I mentioned before even though we all love them they're his absolute favorite and then homemade bread is Carter's favorite and I feel like we all kind of like just love the homemade bread but he like asks for it so that's what we're doing now we're making homemade gluten-free bread I love this bread maker it has a gluten-free option on it just because gluten-free baking is a little bit different and there's all real ingredients in here which I love you have honey you have milk and butter and eggs your flour. Um, my flour that I use is King Arthur, so it already has a xanthan gum in it, so I don't need to add it to there. Um, if you're not gluten free, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about, but um, you know, some flours don't have xanthan gum and you need to add it to it. And then, of course, some salt and yeast, and you just throw everything in there and close it, and that's it. Uh, I'll also have that recipe down in the description box for you. I've only ever heard good feedback from this recipe. Um, I got it from a Pinterest and I forget the person's name now I feel like it's like mama knows best or something like that but I'll definitely give her credit down below because she has a lot of great gluten-free recipes 
Next up, I'm taking out my Instant Pot. I miss this thing. I used to use it all the time, and now I've just been like in Crock-Pot world and just everything else, but I do forget how easy this is and how much faster it makes certain cooking. So I'm just doing spaghetti squash in here. You're gonna do this on high pressure for seven minutes. You're gonna cut your squash in half that way because that makes the spaghetti strands longer. Um, and then you're gonna do a quick release. I feel like next time I'd probably do it for about nine minutes because mine was like very al dente. However, if you're making it for like a meal prep, um, that would be just enough time because you're gonna microwave it again and kind of cook it some more. But anyway, while that's cooking, I am putting in our new Nespresso pods. By the way, if you have an espresso and you never tried the pumpkin cake pod, it's really, really good. All right, so our spaghetti squash is done. I'm gonna go ahead and let it cool off and I'm gonna start making um, basically the sauce. It's the viral TikTok pasta that everybody sees, but I'm using two containers of grape tomatoes and I'm using a couple of shallots and some salt and olive oil and feta cheese, of course, and this was delicious. You didn't need to add any garlic. The shallots gave it plenty of flavor. I was in a huge rush, so sorry if my filming isn't the best, but my sister was over, and I knew that there was no way I was getting Chris to eat spaghetti squash with me, but my sister likes really healthy stuff like I do, too. Um, by the way, Chris will eat spaghetti squash when it's like, I've made it in the past like an Alfredo with chicken, and he really likes that, but this, that there's no meat in it, he does not care. Um, so that's why I'm making it for my sister and I and it was done just before our girls had to go to dance So we wound up eating it at dance and everyone was like, oh my gosh, what is that? It smells so good um, But yeah, anyway, you put all this in mix it up super easy you Put your feta cheese in and you bake it on 400 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes again depending on your oven um, and then top it with fresh basil. It doesn't get much easier and it's such a delicious meal This would be great for meal prep as well And you can always add like ground turkey or whatever kind of meat that you like And then Chris got this quick clip of the bread for us since I was at dance when it was ready, but it was so good. We had breakfast sandwiches on it the next day and it's just always so delicious. So next up, we're finally moving on to this Barbie organization. I don't know why it took me so long to do this. This is our guest room. I always call it Barbie land. So when we have guests actually coming over to stay, I will go ahead and clean this all up and pack it away so that the room is not full of Barbies. Um, however, we don't usually have guests stay over that often because most of the people we see live locally. Um, and then we also have a guest room in the basement. So the basement's more like, you know, it's like your own little world down there. There's a little kitchen, you have your shower, you have a gym. So people usually will stay down there instead. So basically, yes, this is our Barbie room right now, but I am organizing this. I can understand a lot of people will probably be like, oh, my kids would have that messed up in two seconds, but not Ella. Um, Ella is the one that usually plays in here the most with this stuff, and she's very organized, and she absolutely loves this. So I've seen it on Pinterest. I grabbed these containers at Target. I'll link them down below, um, and they're very inexpensive. And then I just made some labels on my Cricut. I have two spots for furniture. And then I also still use this big pink Barbie thing that we got years ago um, for some other furniture that goes in the Barbie house. I have a spot for accessories, a spot for shoes, and then a spot for clothes. And it works out perfectly and it looks nice and Ella can always find the stuff she was looking for. She was so excited, you'll see in a little bit here, that she had her puppy and she knew where the puppy's food was because, you know, she could never find stuff the way it was. And anyway, I'm just really happy with this came out. You know that organization is my love language and it makes me happy.
You guys know I've been using my Cricut for forever since we went to Disneyland, the one and only time we ever went. Um, I made shirts and that's kind of where I started at. Maybe, maybe I did something before. That's my first time using like an iron-on. But anyway, I've used my Cricut for a long time and I use it quite frequently because I love it and because I'm type A, I label a lot of things for the kids for school and all of that. I make decor. I do a little bit of everything. But basically, I... The vinyl that I'm using and the transfer tape I'm using, I don't know if it's a combination or if I just have bad transfer tape or what's going on, but it, I struggled so hard with this vinyl and just being able to get it off onto the transfer tape in the first place and then getting it on to here. Um, so if you have vinyl recommendations or transfer tape recommendations, please leave them below because especially for the holidays, I feel like I make a lot of DIYs. I want to get some good stuff because this took way too long and it shouldn't have. You'll also notice in this video, sorry I didn't mention this earlier, I was talking too much, but I'm in different clothes because this video took me almost the entire week to film because like I said, we were just on the struggle bus over here and I'm not afraid to say that because I know a lot of you can relate to it and I know that it seems like this like respiratory illness that has been going on in kids has been like all over the place. I had so many moms reach out and tell me they were going through the same thing and it was a hard one. This is probably like the longest lasting cold we've ever had for the kids. Um, so I'm so grateful that they're all feeling healthy now and that we're over this because it was tough, man, especially sleeping. The baby would only sleep on me, like mostly sitting up. But anyway, we are on to the next morning. My planner finally arrived back here from, first I left it in Punta Cana and my friend was still there. So she shipped it from Arizona. So my planner has been through a lot lately and I'm so excited to finally have it back and be able to use my stickers and plans. So I'm kind of working on um, November right now just getting a couple things laid out and writing down the appointments that I know of now we also besides Thanksgiving we also have Chris's birthday he's 11 11 my Scorpio and then I have Everly who is a Scorpio slash Sagittarius because she's 11 23 um, so I need to get my butt in gear and get all of her stuff ready for her Coca Melon birthday because all I have so far is a pinata um, I just don't find it super easy to shop for that because there's just so much like really, really overwhelming decor that has like a lot going on in it. So I've been trying to find a way to make it like cute and also Coca Melony, if that makes sense. So yeah, um, if you've watched my planning videos, you know I highlight Tuesdays and Sundays since that's when I upload and I'll go ahead and write in what videos I'm doing there. So I'm just finalizing my November schedule, so stay tuned. Um, before I get started on my last thing here, which is just cleaning up the kitchen and unboxing some new goodies that I got for the kitchen, I'm just putting some Thieves Oil into my diffuser with some Christmas spirit to just help give me a little boost. And it's always nice and cozy. People like candles. I run my diffusers. That's just how I do it. I've been doing it like that for years. And it just smells so good. So anyway... I am loading up the dishwasher, washing a couple dishes, then I'm going to wipe down the counter and unbox some new stuff that I got um, for the kitchen that I'm really, really happy with. So stay tuned for that. So while you're here, I know it's going to be Halloween soon, but I have to ask ahead for Thanksgiving. What Thanksgiving recipes do you want to see me make over here? I'm also, of course, going to be doing a bunch of reels. I've been trying to do more cooking reels over on my Instagram, um, t.beaston, if you're not already following me. I try to do a little bit of everything, but somehow Instagram winds up being mostly cooking. 
I do want to put some of my organization on there, but it's hard to prioritize like what you're filming for Instagram versus YouTube. And sometimes I try to film the same thing for both. Um, but yeah, I want to definitely do like a full Thanksgiving video on here like I did last year. So let me know what you want to see. Probably, probably going to have a lot of repeat recipes from that just because they're some of our family favorites like apple pie and cranberry sauce and sweet potato casserole and all that stuff. So anyway, let me know what you want to see or feel free to share your favorite Thanksgiving recipe for me to try out for our family. Um, but anyway, I got these new um, fruit stands. They were very affordable. And what I liked about them is that you can also leave them undone to just be like two gold bowls. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to do, so I just ordered two, but I wound up putting them both together as like the little towers, and I love how they look and how they came out, plus gold kind of goes with everything, especially the Christmas decor that I'm going to be putting out pretty soon. So I love how these came out. They're just fairly pretty and simple and I think the two look nice on the island and you can see you can kind of like spin them. But yeah, I like that you can also take them apart and just use the bowls to put stuff in. So I had been, I had ordered this stuff a while ago, but like I said, I just had no motivation to do anything. I was so tired. And for me, that's my biggest thing. If I'm tired, I struggle so hard with everything. Um, I just am not somebody that can function like that. I drink way too much coffee and it just basically gives me more anxiety than I already have and I'm still tired. But anyway, I got a new butter dish. I'm washing that. That was very affordable as well. And I love how that looks because before we just had like a clear Tupperware out on the counter um, full of butter. So this is actually way better than that. I'm dancing all these fears away. And last but not least is this bread box because like you saw we have like the little bags of the mini bagels for the kids or if I make bread or if we, the, I will say the Dave's killer bread that we use for the kids a lot of times, we'll keep it in the fridge because I feel like it stays better that way. Um, so this would probably just be more for like bagels and homemade bread and things like that. But I love it. It's really pretty and simple and cute. I try to get things that will go with everything, like no matter what decor I'm using for that time of year. So again, I was really happy with how all this came out. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you on Sunday. So